On this muggy day in Nardo, Italy, a challenger from rural Sweden is preparing to try to break the record of world's fastest production car. Set by the McLaren F1, this record has defied all takers for seven years and stands at a blistering 240.3 miles per hour. A humid day and a tightly ovaled track seem to portend another failure. Nardo is a circular track, so it kind of scrubs away a lot of speed. You're constantly on a turn. But the Challenger is no ordinary car. This is the CCR from the innovative Koenigsegg Motor Company. It quickly accelerates past 100 miles per hour. And then 150. By the time the CCR is in sixth gear, it's well over 200 miles per hour, rapidly closing in on the old record. The man behind the new Challenger, Christian von Koenigsegg, had an infatuation with fast cars that began in his youth. When I was five years old, I saw uh, a Norwegian puppet movie about a bicycle repairman who built himself a race car, and I got really, really uh, excited by it. So I said to myself, that's what I want to do. I want to build my own car. That dream led Christian to start the Koenigsegg Automotive Company in 1995. Soon thereafter, he designed the CCR. I basically started from a blank sheet of paper, and I had some ideas of what my car would be like. It was going to be a nimble, lightweight, high-performance sports car with a detachable hard top that actually gave the convertible feeling when you take it off. CCR stands for Competition Coupe Radical. The Koenigsegg CCR is the lightest, most powerful, fastest supercar ever built. It's basically a race car for the road, but it has the features that you expect from a road car, um, such as air conditioning, stereo, uh, power windows, power steering, etc. It's got racing car performance, but it's still very streetable and drivable, and you can cruise around in it. Our production facility used to be a fighter jet squadron. Now we build the fastest car in the world in here. Under that car's sleek hood is an engine that holds a world's record for sheer power. This is the engine for the CCR. It's the most powerful production engine in the world with 806 horsepower. The CCR features a very lightweight V8 engine with a patented supercharging system. We base it off a production racing block. But all the internals are our own uh, engineering. We were looking at doing a V12, but we quickly realized that our performance target of 800 horsepower could be obtained safely within a V8 structure. One of the CCR's most striking features is its unique door mechanism. We have a very wide car with very wide doors, so we realized that when we parked next to other cars, that was not very practical. And I had seen on an electrical uh, car in Sweden a similar door system where you open first outwards and then upwards, which was quite intriguing. But it wasn't really practical to first move out and then up. So we came up with this system where we do it all in one motion, which according to everyone we talked to was impossible. It's probably the most difficult door system on any car in the history of cars. But it works very, very good and is very, very stable. Another feature crucial to the car's success is much less obvious. There's precious little metal used in construction of the CCR. Instead, super high-tech carbon fiber makes up much of the car. The carbon fiber technology was originally invented by NASA in the U.S. for their space program. Basically, it's the strongest, lightest, commercially available material to produce products out of. And it's still very, very expensive, but if you want to go lightweight and strong, carbon fiber is the way to go. In its original state, carbon fiber looks like the thin neoprene rubber used in wetsuits. The fiber is formed onto molds of the specific car part it's to become. Then, on those molds, the parts are placed into a kiln-like oven, whose temperature is constantly monitored. It's a 
is the oven we use to cure our products in. We cure them for 120 degrees for one hour. Then it will be several more times stiffer than steel. The now super hardened fiber remains remarkably lightweight. The molded pieces are then fitted together by hand. We use carbon fiber almost everywhere in the car, so that means the chassis structure is actually carbon fiber. The uh, engine structures, even valve covers are carbon fiber. All the interior trim panels are very, very thin carbon fiber. Even the body panel system is carbon fiber. When you see them painted, they just look like steel or aluminum, but it's carbon fiber on it. McLaren is a race car company. Bruce McLaren was a race car driver, an Australian. He came to Europe and uh, was driving for other people and then decided to design and build his own cars. And they thought that it would be a great idea with all this technology they had, particularly from Formula One, to build a car for the street. The McLaren F1 became one of the most celebrated production cars ever created. Featuring a unique driver's center cockpit, it had a powerful BMW B12 engine that cranked out 627 horsepower. Introduced in 1991, the F1 went on to set the world production speed record, just over 240 miles per hour, on March 31, 1998, only two months before the final F1 rolled out of the factory. But on that muggy Italian day in February 2005, after seven years, that mark was about to become history. The Koenigsegg CCR ran smooth and hot. It powered up to 240 and then smashed through with a sizzling, record-breaking 241 miles per hour, making it the new world's fastest production car. Of course, because the CCR is a production model, anyone can place an order. But you'd better start saving now. The basic price in U.S. dollars with the current exchange rate would be around 590,000 U.S. dollars, so it's quite high. But for that price, you get to drive a technological wonder. The world record-holding CCR, fondly referred to as the ghost. We have a special symbol for the CCR. It's a ghost. The ghost version symbolizes the fastest possible Koenigsegg. We have a lot of models within Koenigsegg, and one that I like the most is, if you haven't seen the future, you haven't driven fast enough.